Next, we have the Public Service Committee. Uh, before we start, I'd just like to say that uh, I incorrectly stated at the last meeting that Miss Isby would be bringing a report back, but she gave actually gave the report in May, uh, so there will not be a report. Really, what we're doing tonight is uh, approving an architectural team uh, for the aquatic and recreational facility. So at this time, I will turn it over to Mr. Ibbotson. My apologies, Miss Ibbotson. <laughs> Mr. Ibbotson, Miss Isby. <laughs> I got that and crossed up. Well, the one was we suspended the rules to pull back that ordinance. We do, and what they'll do is they'll they'll uh, come back with some designs. Uh, we'll, we'll probably, if y'all would like to, we can have a committee meeting at the next council meeting and probably bring in Gordon Wilburn uh, to give y'all exact numbers. And then what that team will do, and it is a team, it involves various different groups, professionals. What they'll do is come back with different designs at what dollar amounts. Is that correct, Jamie? You know, and, and what our maximum amount is, what we can get for our maximum dollar and anything in between. But tonight's just just to uh, to approve the uh, recommendation of that team so that they can get moving forward. Yes, sir. Mr. Ibbotson, how how were these five first of all pulled out of the original fifteen or fourteen? Oh, right. And and then a follow up question would be how were they arrived at that we chose Craft and Tall? I think you have the matrix. Looks like Crafton Toll pulled five points out of four of those people, and somebody wasn't quite as impressed. Um, 
They only got three on on the other one. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Now, when we when we got to five, tell me tell me how we got to the next level of judging, if you would. When we got to the five, mm -hmm. interview. Okay. Okay. And and who who voted in this series? The same five people. Yes. So it was the same five people. Okay. Okay. And then the same five people that voted to prioritize. Okay. 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 All right. I didn't know whether there was another group no. involved somewhere or no. whether it was so. There was a committee that went and did some. Not for the audience. Okay. And they were looking for what? And Ms. Isby, that my question might need to go to you, if you don't mind. No. Uh -uh. What we um, tasked the committee that we had was to get input from citizenry, uh, what they would like to see in the community center. Okay. Um, we had them to, a couple of them did surveys or got put stuff on Facebook, uh, submitted what they heard from people on Facebook. Others did some of the similar things. Uh, I know Mark's wife was on that committee. And then what we did is we took all of that information and then we did the benchmarking trips. Mm -hmm. We did a wrap-up meeting after we came back from the benchmarking trips and talked about the things that the group would like to see in the community center um, provided that we would have the funding to do that. Uh, in my report, of course, I gave some of the things that, that we saw at each of the different facilities. There were some that had partnerships with, um, particularly in Bentonville, mm -hmm. um, with some of the swim teams and also with the school. Um, what they suggested is having showers on deck, a ramp for a therapy pool, suggested having a certified pool operator on staff. Um, in Clarksville, when we visited there, they liked having the community center next door, um, eight lanes for competitive swimming to have separate pump systems. And Rogers, the suggestion was that they have plenty of room for storage, a larger concession stand, same thing, have separate pump systems, separate areas for different ages. Bentonville had a partnership with the library, um, had it offered a library there. They had multi-purpose rooms that could be rented for activities. And then they also had a room for active seniors that the seniors could use. And then, of course, the Bentonville School donated a million dollars to their facility. And then the swim teams paid uh, $10,000 a year. Okay. Thank you very much. I You're very it. welcome. Okay, I got a question. Mm -hmm. This is only a proposal for the drafting. Though, right? Correct. So we don't get a chance to talk about what we want. Mm -hmm. After that, right? That's correct. Say that again, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry. I'm, they just going to give us a a draft of what they think would fit our budget and we'll get a chance to decide about all that later. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just thought it would be a good idea to go back and, and sure. let everybody in the community hear how this went about. Yes. And how it was, how we got to this point. And I appreciate you uh, giving us that information. Well, the next step will be to department to meet with city staff and administration. Mm -hmm. Very good. Was anybody from Councilman and Hunsaker, uh, Hunsaker, uh, did they apply, uh, make an application? Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Welcome. It is it is my pleasure to have y'all here because I know that y'all are probably the premier uh, people that do this type of thing in the country. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome.
And are you part of the uh, uh, group that is uh, we're talking to or proposing yes. to? See, if that information was out there, it'd save me a whole lot of questioning. That's the RFQ was handled like we handle all RFQs. Uh, this is how we handle each and every if, one of them. If, if, if all we needed to know was that the, the premier people in the country are on this. Well, part of the, part of the I, reason. And I didn't see yeah, that anywhere. Part, part of the if reason. I missed it, I apologize. That's okay. Well, part of the reason we do our RFQs this way, and we've always done it this way, is so that we don't have any outside influence from vendors or anyone else. Mm -hmm. We keep it above board and clean. Very good. All right. Would there be any I'm community input at all Thanks. on any of this? We'll have a meeting. Okay. I, I mean, I think that's very important, too. And what is the timeline? Do we have a timeline? We are hoping, we, we are hoping to shoot, uh, to get this before the voters in September. And I think that's correct. Does that sound right, Felicia, or am I ahead of myself? No, September, I think, is what we're shooting for. Well, that's why we're meeting here tonight. Uh, we have 90 days from the time. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll have Gordon, hopefully, if he's available, to show up at, the, uh, at our, our next council meeting. We'll have a committee meeting, and uh, we can kind of get a little bit better time frame. And September may be a little, little quick, but... Uh, if we miss September, Mr. Grimes, do you know where would that put us? Would that put us to after the first of the year? No, but I think we have one more opportunity before the first of the year. Okay. Okay. All right. It is, don't we want to get this right rather than get it fast? Oh, yeah. We're going to get it right. Because this is something that, that people are going to be on the hook for for 20 years and something that we're going to have in our community for a lot longer than that, we hope. No, we'll get it right. That's why we have the premier group here. All right, Council, back to you. Any other questions? I'm sorry. I'm, I am good. Thank you. Okay. I'm like... We're talking about what civic. I handed everybody up something I found in Kansas City. It was one of the weekly newspapers I picked up when I was there recently. They talked about a pool that had been over pool. They're going to shut down. And basically the residents said, no, we still want this here. We just want something better. And so they determined it wasn't any fun. This is why no one was going. And so you see the quote I highlighted that they offered more amenities that made it fun. Mm -hmm. And people started going. So, again, we need to make, make some of the key ones go, too. Yeah, and it's uh, and fun there. You're saying recreation. Yeah. I yeah mean, absolutely. There's multiple things, but it has to be fun. Yeah. Right. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll talk about it later on. But that's why, and she said, that's why I like the thing in Clarksville because we had like a wild over the country to make the children pool. It was, that's my thing. I mean, that, yeah. 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 Ledbetter me is excited about the seniors area. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn my mic. <laughs> Mary, that, Mary's fixed to have a birthday. It's going to be. <laughs> Any other more questions, Mr. Ibbotson? I'd like to thank Mr. Ibbotson and, and uh, Felicia and Jamie uh, and y'all's crew for all the hard work done. Miss Isby, you and your crew, I hear you guys had a good time. <laughs> no, we didn't give you any other Well, Council, we have a resolution before you. Where where do you want to go? I'm actually, I think it's an ordinance for. No, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong yeah. one. Excuse me. Uh, I make a motion for the adoption of the resolution. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this resolution for professional services <clears throat> for the aquatic center, uh, facility. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Approve resolution R2159. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. That's a seven to zero. Well, folks, we're on our way. Good job. <laughs>